actually, I had I did an interview just before I cro- um, cross out flakes all over me. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. Yeah. yeah. So I saw this back in Berlin, and it just got me thinking because obviously we're here now at the London Film Festival. Is, is that one of the kind of enjoyable aspects of this job is the promotion of movies and stuff? So that you get to travel around the world and see different audiences react to the movie because it shows the kind of longevity and the, ex- the whole kind of experience of a movie from start to finish. And obviously we're still right in the middle of it. But how's it been traveling with, with Cool Jane? Well, I, I don't really stay to watch it. I mean, <laughs> I, I come in at the beginning and the end. But yes, I get to talk to a lot of people afterwards. Yeah. Um, and, and, and that is um, extremely interesting. It's fascinating to see what the divides are um, from country to country or city to city in America. You know, look, we've, we spoke to someone earlier who said that they watched this movie and burst into tears, that they felt like it represented sort of an emotional thing that they couldn't put words to. And if you do that once or mm-hmm. twice with a film, it's, a, you know, it's why we make it, right? We want to affect the audience in some way. We didn't make it to, like, hang out in the closet and watch it on our own. <laughs> We're trying to put something into the world. And I think that um, that kind, hearing that kind of feedback as an artist is just so wonderful. It means the work mattered to someone. And if you do that just for a few people, it's really meaningful. Also quite interesting is that in the space of those kind of few months of watching it in Berlin to watching it now, there's been a kind of devastating return, um, uh, reversal of Roe v. Wade. Has has the, your experience now watching the film and your, your, your sort of a relationship with the kind of text and, and the film itself, has that changed now to when you first watched it as a result of kind of what's happened in, just when you first right. made it, I should say. Well, for yeah. me, no, because mm-hmm. it's been going on. Yeah. And uh, the attack on women's autonomy, it's constant. Um, what does surprise me is that the film is calling this um, to the attention of people who maybe weren't that aware of it, which is another good thing. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. You know, I think it's important to remember that um, w- women fighting for their right to full citizenship, you know, in the world, that's happening everywhere all the time. And so this movie represents that for abortion in particular, but it represents the larger collective fight that women are dealing with on the daily, right? So I think there's a sense of oppression of women that that is constant, frankly. And um, if, if this movie calls attention to something that's more specific, great, but we made it knowing that that was the case anyway. And one thing I think you've always managed so well, Elizabeth, in your career is sort of to balance entertainment, but with but it's sort of subtly bringing in kind of the, the sort of political stance and that sort of side to it. Is that without undermining the other, which is actually quite a challenge to sort of to, to get right. And um, is that quite an important aspect of your career to make stuff that is entertaining, to make stuff that means something to you, but also stuff that is, is meaningful as well? Absolutely. I, I think that's... Um... Uh, an ethos that I'm trying to bring to my work. You know, I came into this as an entertainer. I love entertaining people. Uh, But I also think that humor in particular makes things stick in a way that that really stays with people, you know? When people laugh or entertained or whatever, it's just, it's a tickle that um, I think allows the information to go down a little easier. Um, and I think is real life. You know, I, I mean, I go to funerals and laugh. You know what I mean? It's not all tears. We have to have a balance in our lives. Even when we're getting through something, we're, I, I find when I'm going through something hard, I'm so grateful to laugh. And to me, that's what Joy had and offered and what Phyllis's tone was offering people with this film. Yeah, Phyllis, I was wondering too, because you've written for another director before and then you've had a, someone else write now for you to direct. I was wondering, when you're sat in the cinema watching something, um, is there an equal sense of, of ownership of I did this, irrespective of whether it was written or, or directed? Right, that's interesting. Um, I don't feel ownership in in that sense, um, even, if, even if there is ownership. <laughs> films take a tremendous community of people, but it is different. Um, what I will say is when, when I have um, written for other people, I, I, I watch it from uh, the perspective of someone who, who is, well, Carol was different. That script was the script for a long, long, long time. Um, but still, you think, well, I'm there to, to serve yeah, someone else's film. Right, I was yeah. in service. 
with this, um, and because of the circumstances of making it, I felt responsible to my actors first and foremost. When you're sitting in, in a room putting something together, you have tremendous power. And you don't realize that really until you're there saying, I could let that close up go on, or I could just, pssst. and that is, <laughs> that is what the only power a director has, and of course, crafting in post production. But really, I, oh, I felt a tremendous gratefulness and sense of obligation that coexist to the actors and to the producer, who, after all, you know, raised all the money yeah. to, to make the yeah. movie. Yeah, maybe ownership was the wrong word. Pride might be the better word. Yes, yeah. yes. I, I mean, I am extremely proud of this movie, as I hope everyone is. Oh, you should be. <laughs> thank you so much, guys. Much appreciated. Thank Cheers. You. Thank, you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from The Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice.